Well, good afternoon. My name is Norman Bennett. I'm running for District 5 County Commission race. And um, when John Page stepped down to run for State Senate, I, was, I saw an opportunity to lend a helping hand to help. I, I told Bill Slaughter, I see he's here this afternoon, I didn't want to be chairman of the one two years ago. I retired from BCA about six, seven years ago, and my wife, Robin, is in the audience here. She's principal of Dewey Elementary. We live out here on a uh, small farm in the, in the northwest part of Orange County. And uh, one of my friends told me, he said, you got to be a nut when you, to jump back into stuff. I said, I am, for our county and our country. And ladies and gentlemen, our, our country, is, the boat is sinking, and the best way I know how to phrase that, when the boat is sinking, you plug holes, you don't build water. And, and that's one of the things that we, we need to do. One of my other friends said, your age is going to hurt you. I said, I disagree with that. It, I've never looked at it as old age. I've looked at it as the aging process. It comes a day at the time, and you do what you can today for the better of tomorrow. And, and uh, I served on the county commission for 20 years, serving with four different sets of commissioners. And we built Browns County, and, and I say we because it's a collective effort. We built it into one of the premier counties in, in South Georgia and Georgia as well, maybe even the Southeast. And we, we built the infrastructure such as water sewer, paved a lot of miles, and we've, we've covered all of you that's been going around the county seeing roads and things like that. We paved a lot of the roads. We put the James Beck overpass and we built exit 38913, those kind of things. I've always worked from the premises, there's four factors that influence and impact your area. That's education. The county commission does not have much to do with education except support the effort. And some of the things that we did, when we were getting revenue sharing money, we gave the school system enough money to build 14 classrooms at Lake Park. We also worked when the county school system was, built, was building the new office, we had equipment, we went in and did the site prep for that. We were expanding the water sewer up along 75 by Wildgrass Tech, Valtech at the time. They were expanding, they had water sewer needs, and we waived the tap fees for $200,000. That's the way you help. It doesn't make sense to charge one of your fellow agents, uh, agencies to, to you know, put money back into them so they could spend that money they saved on education. Economic development is another one. If you don't have the educated workforce, you're not going to have economic development because people want jobs. They want to be educated people that can do the jobs. And we brought such companies in as about us tomorrow, working with Scott Hudgens and Jimmy Rogers. We brought the mold in. We brought Dillard. We brought Lowe's and other, many, many others. We built and funded the, the system, the industrial authority. We also funded tourism and we funded the um, airport authority. We, we funded that out of this motel tax at that time. But the best thing that happened to the industrial authority was when they, the county gave them one mill to do industrial development. The park's in good shape. I served on that board for about four, four years before I retired and resigned to run for the commission. But we, uh, They've got the parks in good shape, and they're ready, for, and, and we're trying now to do that. The third item is transportation. And I'll talk about the things we've done. We still need to do that, and we still need to continue to pay roads and, and what have you, because you've got to move people, but you've got to move your park, and that's, that's the other thing. Last and foremost is, is community structure and how we work together. I've always enjoyed working with the cities, Dr. Perry, uh, Leland Clinton and John Adams and, and all the others that we worked with. Uh, we had, when we left office, bar nine, one of the best city county relationships in Georgia. And, and that's what you got to do to work together to make things happen. And, and uh, it's not an easy course to chart sometimes, but, but you got to sit down, listen, talk through things, and then decide what's the best way to go. And one of my strongest suits, I guess, is finding the common ground. The way you do that is you look for and, and, you know, I could sit back and enjoy my farm, enjoy fishing, things like that, but when there's work to be done, I can't quit. Because if we don't improve our nation, get it back on, on track, and it, good government starts at the local level. You, you've got to have good government. You set the examples, and you push the rope uphill when you have to. If the state's not doing their job, we need to let them know. If Washington's not doing their job, we need to let them know. I will be that candidate and that commissioner that will push the road to make our area better. And I would always say, it's like the two farmers walking down the road, they saw the turtle in the fence book. 
the little form. I said, I wonder how you got there. I was like, somebody had to put him there. And I would guarantee you, if you put me back on the commission, I will work hard for all of us. And, and another thing that we got to do, and that includes seniors and our youth. So the seniors need a place at the table, our youth needs a place at the table because they're the future. And if we don't help them, help the seniors and balance it out for everybody, we're not going to make it. But I appreciate your time, and I wish there were more people we could talk with because we, we can't do it by ourselves. We've got to carry the message. And I appreciate your vote. And I would encourage all of you to check your, the people who are running what's commission or whatever and get elected people that you know will do the job and serve you the way you deserve. Thank you. Thank you.